ஹலோ டெக்கிஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு பவர் அவுட் மை டெஸ்க்டாப் டுட்டோரியல்ஸ் இன் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் டுட்டோரியல் வி ஹவ் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு ரிட்ரீவ் இமெயில் மெசேஜஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி அவுட் லுக் லெட்ஸ் ரீகேப் அபவுட் தட் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் இஃப் யூ சி ஆன் மை ஸ்கிரீன் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் ரிட்ரீவ் இமெயில் மெசேஜஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி அவுட் லுக் ஆக்ஷன் பை யூசிங் தட் ஆக்ஷன் வி கேன் ரிட்ரீவ் தி இமெயில்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி மெயில் ஃபோல்டர் சச் ஆஸ் இன்பாக்ஸ் ஆர் சென்ட் இமெயில்ஸ் or junk emails or any folder which are there in the outlook now by using retrieve parameter we can retrieve the emails based on all email messages or if there is any 100 email messages then by using the option 100 email messages only by that we can retrieve all the 100 emails if you want to retrieve read email messages only in that case that we will select the option read email messages only and after that once you have retrieved 100 email messages and then if you want to make them as read then by using the parameter marks as read by enabling that we can make them mark as read after reading the mails we have seen all three parameters in the previous session now we will learn before retrieving the email messages from the outlook we want to filter the emails how can we go ahead and do that Let's double click once again on the retrieve email messages to make you understand. Over here if you see I'm having the options over here in the retrieve email messages from the outlook. Over there you can see the parameters I'm having from contains to contains subject contains body contains and also we can have the attachments. Now I will give you a simple example over here. Now if you see in my outlook all the mails are read in the previous session we have seen that now what i have to do i want to retrieve only the mails which i have received from the twillo there you can see i'm having email id like team twillo at the rate of team dot twillo dot com i want to retrieve only that mails which has been retrieved or which has which the team has sent from that email id how can i go ahead and do that you can see over here i'm having lot of mails over here i'm having more than 3 to 4 mails i'm having over here from the twillo all right now let's double click on the retrieve email messages from the outlook double click on that over here from contains i'm going to give the email id over here as team twillo at the rate of team.twillo.com at the same time if you see i'm having retrieve i have given as 100 email messages just make it as all email messages i don't want to bother about that is it red email or unread email so that what i'm going to do i'm going to select all email messages over here and then i'm going to store all emails in the variable produce that is retrieved emails list all right let's click on save now to see the output let's run the flow flow execution started and you can see in the retrieved emails i'm having five mails that i got it you can see over here team twillo at the rate of team dot twillo dot com and after that i'm having different subjects like scaling your account congrats on sending and so many things i'm having it and if you see the email count is five that we have seen in the in the list also all right now let's click on okay now we'll talk about the different parameter that is two now let's double click on the retrieve email messages over here what i'm going to do i'm having two contains two in the sense to whom it has been sent let assume in my two list i'm having so many people right so it has been sent to me as well as to other people also that is one of the situation or else in my sent emails also that i'm having i have sent to the particular people in that case two contains also i have sent the mail to the but respective recipient at that time how can i go ahead and do that let me show you my outlook once again if you see in my sent items that i have sent a mail to basha.amir86@gmail.com to myself only i have sent it so what i'm going to do i want to retrieve the mails over there to whom i have sent it all right in your real time scenario what will happen in the sent mail that i'm having lot of mails or else that in our inbox that we are having lot of mails with the recipient saying that you know to in the to a uh, field that i am having bashar@amir86@gmail.com comma learning technology so many recip- email recipients that we have in that case also we can filter the emails by using two contents now i am going to select the mail folder over here as sent items 
And after that, two contents, I'm just going to give the email ID which I have sent it. All right. Or else in other scenario that inbox also that we will put it two contents that Bashar Atamir 86. In the same way, one mail has been sent to two people or two recipients at the same time. All right. Now, these two contents I have given as Bashar Atamir 86. And then I'm going to click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. As we know, in the email itself, in the sent items itself, that we're having a single mail, so that I need to get only single ID. And then you can see the count as one. All right. Now let's click on OK. Now I will show you in the negative scenario. OK. Just you know to make you understand, I will make it some dot com one over here. And then I'm going to click on save. In this case, that I need to get zero email count in the sent items. All right. Now, if you see the email count is zero. All right. I hope you understand how to retrieve email messages from the Outlook by using two contents. Now, I will show you another parameter that is subject contents. Now, let me roll back to mail folder to inbox itself. And then the subject contents. What is the subject contents? If you see in my inbox once again that I'm having a lot of mails, right? And you can see over here, this is the subject column which I have. And if you see, I am having some of the mails saying that congratulations. I want to retrieve with the subject congratulations. I need to retrieve all the mails out there. All right. Now, how can I retrieve that mails? There in that case, I'm going to use subject contains. The subject contains congratulations and if you want the parameter two contents also then in that case you will keep it over here but right now what i'm going to do i'm not going to use two contents it's a kind of under operator all right and now what i will do the subject contains congratulations and the remaining parameters i'm making it as blank only it has to look into that one while retrieving the email messages all right let's click on save now let's run the flow Flow execution started and you can see I'm having four emails that I'm having in my Outlook. Now, if we expand the retrieve emails and you can see over here, subject contains congratulations, all the emails, right? That you can get it from the learning technologies. All right. Now, I will show you one more thing over here in a subject format itself. Now, if you see over here, I'm having from the learning technologies as well as the Twilo, I'm having congrats over here. The subject is congrats. And after that, you need to get from the Twilo only. It's a kind of under operator that I will use. Let's double click on that. I'm not going to give you entire subject. I'm going to give part of the subject. You can see over here, I'm just going to be giving congrats on sending that I'm having, but I'm going to give only congrats. And after that, I'm going to give from team Twilo. All right. Now, let me make the changes in flow by double click on the retrieve email messages from the Outlook. Now the subject contents, I'm going to give it as congrats. And even I have lengthy subject like congrats on sending, right? But I'm going to take portion of the subject. And from, I'm going to give team Twilo at the rate of team.twilo.com. All right. Now in this case, what will happen? It will check both the condition. It is, it should contain team Twilo as well as the subject contains congrats. All right. Let me click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see I'm having two mails. Email count is two and you can see the retrieved emails that I'm having congrats also. In this case, how it has been worked, it worked as an under operator. This is the contents operator and this is the under operator for the from as well as the subject contents. All right. Now I will show you one more beautiful feature over here that is attachments. If you observe in my mails that I'm having a lot of attachments over here, if you see the attachment section, when I filtered it, I'm having almost all 20 emails out there with the attachments. I want to retrieve all the attachment emails and then I have to save that attachments in the particular folder. How can I go ahead and do that? Now, over here, if you see, I'm going to remove this from contains and after that, the subject contains. And over here, you can find the parameter attachments. Let me expand that. Over here, if you see, I want to save the attachments. Select the option over here, save attachments. Now, where I need to save these attachments, 
you can find the folder option over here, save attachments into. Select the folder over here. And then what I'm going to do, on my desktop, I'm having a folder called attachments. Let's select that and then let's click on OK. Now, before going to run the flow, let me show you the attachments folder. I don't have any files in the attachment folders. All right. Let's click on save. Now, let's run the flow. At the same time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the folder side by side as well as the flow so that while it is retrieving, you can see the mails over here, all the mails it is going to be retrieving and then it is going to be storing the attachments in the particular folder which we have given as part of the retrieve email messages from the Outlook. All right. Now, once it has been completed, you will get the count over here. You can see the count. From the, all the 99 mails that I'm having all these attachments only. I'm going to read all the emails and I'm going to store all the attachments into the particular folder that is with the name of attachments. All right, let's click on OK. Now, I'm going to give you a small assignment over here. What is that? It's a very simple one that is body contents. Let us assume in my body that I'm having the congratulations. Like, we are going to type in this uh, body like, hi, sir, I'm very happy to inform you that you are selected or you are nominated as the member of the particular team. Then in that case, they are saying congratulations, right? So that body contains some text. In that case, if you're going to use this body contains. So I'm going to just going to give you as an assignment and then you can reply me back in the comment section. All right. I hope you understand how to filter email messages by using retrieve email messages from the Outlook action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.